Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Mutia from Indonesia. And if I pop up on your YouTube search result or if you see on my YouTube video title, then I'm assuming that you are a Dutch person and you want to bring your non-Dutch partner to the Netherlands. Or the other way around, you are a non-Dutch person and you want to move to the Netherlands in order to be reunited with your loved one. So uh, the motivation behind this video is that I used to be in the same position. It took me around six months to move from Indonesia to the Netherlands uh, to be reunited with my uh, Dutch partner. And uh, I used to be so confused in how to begin the whole process and how to um, uh, go through everything. But then uh, I promised to myself if I get to move to the Netherlands and once I arrive in Netherlands I am going to make an informational informational informative video in order to help a lot of people a lot of couple to be reunited with their loved one so stick around with me uh, and I just wish that this video would be helpful for you and happy watching Okay, so let's start. The very first condition that you have to fulfill are both you and your partner has to be at least 21 years old. So if, if either you or your partner are below 21 years old, then you are not allowed to bring your partner to the Netherlands or the other way around, you cannot move to the Netherlands. So if you are below 21 years old, you have to wait a couple years and at some cases maybe there can be a lawyer involved but I don't have any experience with that so I'm not going to put any comment on that situation so now assuming you and your partner are uh, both above 21 years old uh, next you have to open this website this is a very reliable website because this is an official website from immigration and naturalization of the Netherlands www.ind.nl this is a very reliable um, this is a very reliable website and you cannot trust any other information other than this website uh, unless of course other uh, governmental website from the Netherlands but uh, stop trying to find any other information uh, on the on the other website or in the community or something you can try to discuss it but always trust something written in ind.nl and if you can't find something uh, applicable to your situation you should send an email to uh, the to the official email that's only written on the uh, ind.nl so first you open this website www.ind.nl enter when you open this website all of informations are going to be written in dutch but don't worry i will help you to change it to english you choose menu and english there you go now all informations are written in english and then you go to menu again family and then spouse or partner here is written spouse or registered partner i have to emphasize that you don't have to get married or registered in order to move to the netherlands but you only have to prove that you have exclusive and long-term relationship by um, giving your history of relationship see this is the information that you have to be at least 21 years and you have to take exam here is the information about the exam there will be three parts of the exam it's about uh, basic knowledge of the Netherlands uh, the the speaking language exam and also the listening so yes you can read in here there are three parts and they also include the digital registration form so this is very informative you should open this website when you go back you can also find the minimum sufficient income that your partner has to have uh, this is stay with spousal partner so it's about 
1578 and then there are also another information and here your partner has to be the sponsor and make a declaration and also the cost to th- 240 okay so now you know where to begin to find all of the information in regards of moving to the netherlands or in order to bring your partner to the netherlands uh, now uh, i want to emphasize this one thing your relationship status uh, is important for IMD but doesn't mean that your relationship status would uh, change the likeliness of your uh, of your permit uh, application for example if you are married to your partner doesn't mean you are entitled more right uh, to move to the Netherlands uh, rather than those who are applying only as boyfriend and girlfriend because I have a lot of friends who have misconception that after they get married they would just automatically move to the Netherlands and then they ended up uh, stay in their country origin because after they get married they still have to go through all the process that I that I went through like they have to uh, start the process the exam the the, the whole process so uh, your your relationship status is important for IND but uh, you have to focus whether you want to move to the Netherlands or change your relationship status because those two process are two completely different and uh, as long as you can prove your relationship is exclusive it doesn't matter whether you are married or not so that's one so secondly if you have any trouble in fulfilling the requirement for from the IND you have to contact them directly I know that at times it is more comfortable to talk to your fellow uh, applicant like from your own country uh, but uh, by asking around and making assumption it would lead you to the wrong answer yeah sometimes you can be lucky that you find the right answer but uh, try to rely the answer always from the IND I know that it sucks to wait for two or three days only for the answer can we do this can we do that but uh, that's the best way to do that so when I was applying for my uh, permit my uh, partner was working on daytime and he couldn't make any call during the during the work so I had to do the call so if you if you had this situation that you have to call from your country and I know it's expensive my suggestion is to uh, buy Skype credit uh, calling from Indonesia to IND in the Netherlands for uh, 10 minutes would only cost you like maybe uh, 20 cent so that's that's still not expensive um, uh, calling IND can be a bit painful because sometimes you have to wait uh, 10 minutes but it will be worth it wait for uh, the person in our th- in other side to uh, answer your call it will be worth it because they will answer you uh, as to the best knowledge that they can give you so uh, yeah that's my uh, tips and trick uh, you can find my email uh, in the description below and I hope you uh, can share your situation too with me uh, if you are applying uh, for the permit to move to the Netherlands too and I wish you the good luck and thank you for watching until the end and good luck and bye